Guys, we're Joe Sumer here. I think this was a battle I just played recently. Uh, my ally played as the Skippy Eye Romans, and I played as the SPQR. So, my opponent on this side was the Parthians, and on that side were the Germans. My army consists of one light auxilia, that's just extra money I had at the end. The meat of my army is in these gorgeous legions right here. No urbans on my side. Six legions in the front, six legionary cohorts in the front, two in the back in my general and the praetorian cohort unit, and three units in the back are for reserves. I also have four archer auxilia and they will play a major role in this battle. I brought a Roman cavalry because I thought I'd use them to take down the Parthian horse archers because they're light and they're fast. And let's look at my allies army. It consists of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine urban cohorts, ten urban cohorts, and one, two, three, four, four archer auxilia, and then more units I hate, which consists of six Praetorian cavalry. And, oh yeah, I forgot about my three legionary cohorts over here. So my main strategy for this battle was to use the range of my archer auxilia to take down the horse archers. Because the archer auxilia has amazing range. And these guys, they served their purpose well. They were just a nice meat shield while my archer auxilia just decimated these guys over here. Let's see my opponent's Pers uh, Parthian army. I don't get why Persia is in this game. Just kind of sad. Anywho, Persian Cav, Persian Cav, Persian Cav, some Bedouin archers, dudes on camels. That's pretty awesome. If you don't like that, you're lame. So right now they're just duking out with my guys, and they're getting destroyed by the range of my archer auxilia, because archer auxilia is amazing. Get some cataphracts over here. Some camel cataphracts. I love camels. They're so cute. Until they turn into a cataphract. And then two cataphracts up there. Three cataphracts up there. So basically, you know, Parthian army. Tons of cataphracts, tons of horse archers. I'm okay with that. Over here is the German army. Consisting of... Uh, I'm guessing two or three chosen archer warband. Those guys kick butt. And then some axemen. They're not very armored well, and that's going to play a major role. And then some berserkers. Some nice big dudes that wreck stuff and go berserk. So they are retreating back up the hill, while my archers are just destroying these dudes over here. If I rush this guy, it would not be very good for me. So we, me and my ally joined forces. Stupid urbans. Nothing against my ally, just... I hate urbans. So much. You can see the hail of arrows. My legionary cohorts don't care much for the arrows. Here's my archer auxilia firing off some shots. We're being Concentrated fire is a good thing, I tell you. And look at these three guys, the last <laughs> the last three in the light auxiliary unit. Little badasses. Okay, so it appears that my ally moved all of his Praetorian Cav to this side to separate my opponent's attention while these guys marched up this hill. They combined their forces too because Germania has some nice rush infantry but they cannot withstand archer fire that's the problem and I will exploit that so it looks like he re retreated his Persian cav because they were getting decimated so I'm gonna fast forward a bit till some action happens oh yeah I'm moving my guys up so I can keep harassing with my archers even if they're on that hill. You can
can see a wave of horse archers right there. Let's look at them. They look pretty cool. I don't know. I don't like the way Persian cap. Actually, they look kind of hunnic, sort of. If you catch my drift. Wait, his face just disappeared. Let's look at his face. They all look hunnic. Let's look at these Bedouins. Can you see their faces? N nope. They look like ninjas. And, uh, not much action going on. Just moving up my troops. Alright, so finally, there is some movement going on. Parthia sending his uh, good cab, his camels, and some Persian archers to harass these Praetorian cavalry over here. I don't think Praetorian cab cares much because they have giant shields and giant amounts of armor. This is going to be a big calf fight over here, so I need to keep my eye on that. These Persian. Parthia's uh, archery component is almost destroyed at this point. They were so dismayed that they lagged in their animation. So you're going to see some pretty sweet destruction pretty soon. Alright, Praetorian cavalry moving up. Bam. To destroy the capital place on this flank, but the camels come in. The camels have a huge advantage against cavalry. So that legionary uh, cavalry charge is somewhat successful. And since they are much faster than camels, he runs them away. Look what's going on over here on my side of the battle. I played very carefully. I swear, like, one giant rush of those cataphracts into my lines, and I probably would have been done for. So right now, I think, is the point where I just start nailing his unarmored troops. And they can't do anything about it. All they have is that pathetic little shield. So that's what Pila are for. In my nerdy history book that I read, Pila apparently jammed shields together and made shields useless. So when these guys had to fight against the. After the Pila, they had to fight against the actual Legionnaires. And they didn't have a shield while the Legionnaires had a giant shield and a Gladius. So these guys are just getting absolutely destroyed by my archers. Yes, we are attacking you. These berserkers. <laughs> Love berserkers. And it appears my light auxiliary is finally routed. No, don't run for your lives. Only that guy can run. My archers are just exchanging fire. Not exchanging fire, they're just mowing down these troops. There is movement on this end. Just bothering the cataphracts. I think he's trying to go up the hill and then charge down to decimate these guys. Yep. Looks like they're about to turn or something. Oh, snap. I think he said that it was laggy, so he couldn't micro his cavalry that well, so he just grouped them together. Over here, poor Germany's troops are like almost completely destroyed. Oh! Nice fight over here. Cataphracts versus. Ally has been slain. Now we will see if his men can hold in the face of this calamity. Yeah, my ally's general just got killed. He was in that cavalry. So right now he's just banzai. 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 I didn't think I should have. Whoa. Look at that massive cataphracts. 
It's like, what? What? Okay, anyway. My opponent, or my ally, just lost his cavalry. And look, berserkers are coming in. I threw my Pila to try to stop them. But for some reason, even though they're not wearing armor, they don't die very often from archer fire and Pila like other troops do. Whoa, look at my Roman unit guy. Unit leader. Wait, that's not my unit leader. That's a berserker unit leader. Whoa! He just killed the stick guy. <laughs> what a pass. <laughs> that's pretty funny. And um, my guy's just getting nailed by some chosen archer warbands. I didn't want to send my cavalry just yet. Gods be praised. And that was the enemy general, the enemy actually. General is dead. What is that ass? No, their doom approaches. So I pretty much just targeted these guys because that was the meat of the Germanic army. We're under attack. And then I started uh, targeting these cataphract camels because they were turned around, and I do not want to deal with these guys later on. I didn't want to exhaust my guys moving them around a lot, so I was waiting for the decisive moment. It's pretty. It's going to escalate soon enough. I think around this point. Look at all those Pila wasted on those running away troops. Oh, I had a really stupid error. I think... Yeah. I sent my Praetorians to help out my guys being attacked by that unit that's just routing right now. We're under attack. And, uh, I forgot to undo that attack order. So, <laughs> my general's gonna get destroyed. Poor guy. He does not know his fate. I only use Praetorians for my general unit because they were guards of the royalty. Sent in his berserkers and then BAM! Cataphract charge right as I was trying to run them away. No, that's my shame. Not his fault. Stop yelling at him. And it looks like my Archer Auxilia is either out of ammo or out of range. Either way, this fight is about to escalate around this point. Here's that wasted Praetorian cohort. It's not wasted, it's still a good unit, it's just the general died. So now Parthia sends his cataphracts. Sweet movement right here. And um, I decided that, you know what, this is the point I'm actually gonna, this is like the main battle. These cataphracts are dangerous. So I send in some legionary cohorts and some Roman cavalry. Oh, dude with the stick. I love these guys. It's pretty much just a cluster. I was about to say a bad word. I think I killed the enemy general. Someone killed the enemy general. So that was the decisive point of the battle. Now with... The cataphract scum destroyed. Pursue them and drive them from the battlefield. And with all those axemen destroyed. The enemy general is running away. Pretty much this is won by now. So right now it's just mopping up. It's beyond belief. All right, this is the uh, battle screen, whatever you want to call it. My opponent got some nice kills. I wish this was on. Um, large unit scale. Not large, but ultra. That would have made this so much more epic. Good game.